good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Heyo and welcome in today. Today I'm doing a 90 minute art challenge, if you can see here. Um, so, you know, I start off just drawing this thing, just trying to understand the drawing, uh, where the horizon line is, and where things go, um, so just slowly, you know, start drawing it, um, as I, as I do, um, let's see here, at the beginning, I just draw in a few details. Um, yeah, welcome to this video, I do these videos every weekend usually sometime in the weekend some point and it's released on usually you know Saturday or Sunday depending on when I have released usually at the moment I'm releasing them on Sunday early Sunday morning um, at, at this stage I think this one I'll release late Saturday night um, like seven ish or something like that I, I'm thinking um, because these are, you know, they're pre-recorded, they are, so the painting that I'm doing has been pre-recorded um, for 90 minutes, and then I have exported it, and now I'm talking over it, um, was live on my Twitch, so if you are interested in checking out my Twitch channel, and catching me live, maybe asking me some questions, um, and things like that, you can come in when it is live on the stream days that I have on the weekend. It could be at any point, I don't know. Um, usually it's at night time, NZD to night time, um, around about, you know, 7, um, 8.30ish. I'm usually, um, doing my stream times. Um, and... Same for Tuesday. Tuesday now I do a, a stream every Tuesday here on my channel, my Twitch channel, where yeah I just kind of um, paint while I'm just chatting. It's just a chillax stream, which is pretty cool to do. I do enjoy those ones. Um, some nights I don't want to do them because I'm not feeling that great, um, but you know I've got to get them done and. Um, it helps me to better myself as a presenter for my channel and for, um, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, looking at the image reference and looking at my reference, I can now see, you know, um, how clear I was wrong <laughs> with my image. And, you know, that happens that, um, you know, <laughs> it's a learning curve, this one. This image was really frustrating me to begin with. Um, I was not understanding at all, like, how things fit in and, um, you know, where everything goes. I was more worried about trying to fit everything in um, and things like that, proportions. And there's a lot going on as well as it's a you know, a chaotic scene for me, you know, it's got a lot going on, it's got a couple of buildings, it's got one of those, like, old steam factory machine things in the background there, blowing off some smoke, it's got a, a, um, <laughs> a traffic light in the, the, the foreground at the, at the front, um, and, you know, it's got a person there, and another little traffic light, you know, there's a lot going on, as well as some cars in the background, so it's a bit more of a kind of dynamic, um, scene that has a lot more going on, um, a lot more to it, than what I'm used to doing, you know, um, I suppose with my book that I did create, it had a little bit of that, it had fences, it had... Um, bushes and, and grass and the, the, the creatures or the, the animals um, but yeah not not definitely as detailed as this it's this is not exactly what I'm used to drawing or painting um, so you know I would give myself that as a kind of disadvantage <laughs> but you know um it's a learning curve it took me 90 minutes to get this painting done um that i did it's a 90 minute art challenge um and i feel like it's a it's a fail 
Um, but that's okay, you know. I've uh, what I've done is I've I've painted it. I've got through the the painting, done it within ninety minutes, and did the challenge, and that's what I've got, you know. Um, but then afterwards, I was completely like, now nah, this I, <laughs> um, that I actually traced the image um, a little bit after. Uh, I think the next day or something, I went in or that. It was this weekend sometime, um, I went in and actually traced the actual image itself. Um, and I was just surprised at like where the actual horizon line is, um, where the actual, um, you know, clouds of smoke fit in, and yeah, where everything kind of fits um, within this image. Um, <laughs> I was trying to use perspective to try and get this right, you know, those perspective lines. Um, but even then it was a bit of guesstimating um, with that, trying to fit, oh yeah, it's that far within. I didn't exactly like measure every point and um, there's a lot more I could have done looking at it now maybe I could have said the I could have drawn the um the negative space maybe um of the you know the the uh, purpley background there so just drawn all that um and then from there you know draw the other the other shapes and things from there <laughs> and you know I'd be keen to, you know, give this drawing another go, this, um, this 90 minute art challenge another go, just to try those things out, um, but it's okay for now, moving forward, I've, I've seen, you know, my mistakes from it, and, um, I tried everything under the sun, as you can see, you know, I'm struggling here, I'm like, restarted the drawing, you know, um, within this, 90 minute art challenge I think um I started the drawing two or three times if you didn't see you know I restarted it like two or three times I just got really frustrated trying to get everything in its right place and um with the right proportions and yeah I got really frustrated I just wasn't happy with the first drawing I did um then I moved on to try and maybe adding some colour to separate the different parts so it could be a little bit more um a little bit more understanding for me, um, to try and see what's going on with the, the image. Um, I think here I was a little bit I was slowly getting on the right track again. Um But I still felt like <laughs> there was a failing here as well, trying to figure things out. Um, and it, it is annoying, you know, when you start a, a drawing and a painting and you, your first initial things aren't going right and it doesn't look right so you completely scrap it. Um, but then try something new and it, that looks bad, you know, you just... Um, yeah, sometimes it just works out, works out in the end anyway. Uh, but moving forward, you know, um, yeah, I'll be keen, like, one day maybe to, to redo this. Probably not as, like, this video, um, per se. But just as a random challenge I'll give myself at some point. Uh, being 90 minutes... It sounds like an alright idea for now. <laughs> I'm a bit busy. I'm gonna keep, I keep these um, 90 minute challenge going. Keep doing new ones um, for this channel and just to to try new things and yeah, keep moving forward. But definitely, I'd I wanna I would like to give this one a go. So at some point in the future, a couple of weeks from now or something like that. I think I will um, do this painting again for 90 minutes or even just like quickly jot down um, 
a drawing of it basically like make it a 45 minute um art sketch or something like that um that's maybe le a little bit less time i don't but i don't have to render and paint the whole thing just to I kind of feel like i finished it in a way <laughs> um but hey i achieved what i achieved with this painting and i gained things from it i think with every 90 minute art challenge now um I'm slowly gaining something new. Uh, this one here in particular, a little bit more um, of like perspective and using perspective to try and help me out a little bit. I'm trying to find the right vanishing point. Um, yeah. I feel like I wasn't too, too badly off now looking at it. I can see what I was doing and how things were going. It's just some things are a little bit off, so it's not, yeah, <laughs> completely failed. I can see maybe some points here looking at it um, that were off and putting the image off. Like, for instance, um, the part near the sign the yellow part when I'm just painting around right now under under there I feel like that whole part under it that whole drawing um, could move down quite a, a little bit because it, it looks like it's just like almost the height of that building the first building you see um, on the left side, <laughs> that's that small little building there, it's the same height as what you see, and that little building in the distance is the same height as that, almost, so I feel like that whole building right here could be moved down, um, quite a little bit, and that would, I feel like that is where... I might have gone wrong just a wee bit. I think that is the key to, to fixing this painting. If I was to go in and just fix this painting a little bit, I think that is the key to push that down a little bit and that would fix up my proportions, I think. Um, yeah, see, look, this. I feel like this line here should match up with the whole line going down there. Um, and this is always good to do, just to, to look at your image, um, and to see what's wrong, and I'm slowly getting to that point where, um, I can figure things out again, um, you know, you get, when you're creating your own imagery, and, um, dealing with your own illustrations and um, you could critique other people's illustrations and things as well um, and then looking at you know kind of replicating drawings you know trying to draw what you see of an image it's a little bit of a different mindset in a way um, you still the same things apply you know the lighting the color the um getting the the tones right and uh getting the proportions right it's all there you know all that knowledge is there but it's a little bit different um <laughs> yeah just a little bit you know that's my thoughts anyway on that kind of thing um I feel like i haven't done that kind of thing in a little while you know, doing these nine minute art challenges is really awesome for doing that. I've done also I've been doing the ninety of oh, the weekly tips as well, which is awesome to do that. Which is the same drawing what I see in you know, kind of a thing. Drawing reference. Um rather than just taking from it and creating your own. <laughs> this um this image here I did decide to pretty much 
um, have the same image, draw and paint the same thing. Um, that's because, you know, I didn't want to, um, because it was a challenging scene, I didn't want to change it or add something new and then, yeah, completely, completely fall off and not have anything like it. And also I didn't want to kind of let myself kind of put something easy, you know, like um, drawing, like for instance, if you draw humans and things and you can't draw hands, you know, some sometimes you draw poses and scenes that don't include hands because you know you can't draw it, so you hide the hands somehow, you know, um, so try not to let myself kind of do that where I might say replace the buildings and um, the things in there with you know giant robots or, or something like that I could have um, but you know I, I wanted to keep that I guess um, challenging aspect to try and replicate this in a way um, yeah, if that makes any sense, basically. You no, know, I wanted to keep that in there, where I did have um, that challenging aspect to it, and I, I mean, trying to, um, I guess, balance out, you know, drawing reference versus, you know, drawing and painting my own thing. Um, yeah, I like balancing that out where I do have time when when I am you know drawing from reference and just drawing what I see and then times where I where I am just drawing from imagination um, but you know I'm pulling I'm pulling from the things I have drawn before um, and the things I understand as well um, but it's good to to kind of see those mistakes you made as well you got to learn from them um, and I can take, you know, what I've learned in this painting and take it to the next painting, you know, um, and it's been good. I mean, the previous paintings that I've done, um, prior to this for these 90 minute art challenges, uh, you know, I've done the Christmas one and the New Year's one, um, where with those, I think with the Christmas one, I, I found an image that was Christmassy. And, you know, I did one where I painted it, and then another where I kind of painted it, but added something different. Um, and I've done a few animal ones here and there. I've done, a, I think, one landscape one before this. And that was more organic-y landscapes, clouds, and... Um, hills and things like that and you know th with that the perspective was a little bit off and um you know it's a bit off proportional and things like that um but hey you know um it was really helpful to to do in the end because you know um it showed me how important tones actually are and um trying to get that right rather than trying to get the right color you know i mean it oh it was obvious when you know for years that you know color isn't as important as tone obviously um you know um but uh you know it, it during that 90 minute art challenge that reinforce it a lot more um so you know i spent i think i'll i've i've learned from that to maybe try and spend a little bit more time on tonal and trying to understand tone as well in the piece trying to interpret the tone as well as you know with this piece um, working on, you know, this perspective was, 
a little bit a, a, quite helpful with this piece so you know making sure the perspective is accurate enough basically and it looking at it now it looks like the horizon line I created is gone a bit wonky <laughs> um yeah just from the other you know other bits and pieces that I'm trying to fit in and um trying to do but looking at now you know I, I can see a really easy fix that um could have kind of salvaged the piece I guess <laughs> um but I guess because I'm I'm dealing with painting it within the 90 minutes I don't see all these things um when I'm working on within like 90 minutes you know I've got 90 minutes to do this um I'm all worried about getting the piece done there I don't notice some of these um mistakes <laughs> as well as well now I'm looking at it I can see it clear as day you know um you don't get that time to kind of step back and um take a breather and come back and really just look at it and see what there is to change and fix and, and things like that yeah those kind of things <laughs> you don't get to drop it and let someone else look at it or anything like that it's just you've got 90 minutes to create this so let's do it um However, uh, you know, I've I've seen a lot of my paintings, and it's been like, you know, like you could fix this, you'll fix that, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'm not too worried because this is a 90 minute art challenge. It's only to, you know, um, give me better at art, give me keeping on doing illustrations, um, keeping this YouTube channel alive and, and those things um yeah which is awesome to do i am enjoying it um i've done probably about one a week now um i'm looking at possibly doing two next week maybe but i do about one a week if i can do two um next week then it would be you know, at a good state where I can um, slowly get more other things done, you know. Because, you know, if I'm a week ahead of everything, I slowly get into um, doing some more stuff that I want to do. Like, uh, working on a little bit of my book. And that I get to work on my book as well while I'm doing these 90 minute art challenges because I'm only doing this challenge one night a week um, and the other four nights uh, during that week <laughs> during that week, the Monday, Tuesday, whatever or Monday, Wednesday um, I usually am working on my book or some other illustration or something else that I'm working on want to do um, so it always gives me time to to do that stuff which is good yeah awesome yeah. so um, it's been a busy week as usual it's been a busy week as usual um but you know uh yeah you know doing my tuesday stream and then wednesday night i did um a 90 minute art challenge then um tonight i'm doing my stream you know it's it's been a busy week this week and last week was busy too um i was i did i think i yeah i just did the the one as well the one um 90 minute art challenge but i worked on a little bit of my book i was i was working on my weekly tips 
I'm trying to keep up with those as so again challenging because with those I'm giving myself a little bit a little bit of challenges as well you know I'm, I'm hitting um, animals I'm, I'm not too familiar with drawing um, in different poses and things like that so it is a little bit challenging um, so it's taking me a little bit more time to work out some of the drawings that I'm doing um, for the animals sometimes um, sometimes I'm pretty good um, and it doesn't take me as long but some of the animals I'm doing whole animals as well you know I've, I've done ones where I just break down a certain feature of the animal like its head or um, its paws you know I've done quite a few of those which don't take me as much time but um, but yeah uh, it's still quite challenging um, but it yeah it, does, it usually doesn't take me as much time um, to do those uh, challenges yeah anyway um you know it's been great if you guys have are tuning in whether you're tuning in on twitch or youtube um feel free to you know check out all my other youtube videos i have many there um a few 90 minute art challenges i've only just started doing a few on my channel where i am just painting my 90 minute art challenges um and talking over them I am looking at getting artists in, um, but lately I'm being a little bit busy, but we'll find time in the next couple of months or so, you know, it's been probably three or four months-ish that I've, I haven't had an artist in, um, but yeah, eventually um, I'm going to be hunting for some more for my channel, um, talking with previous ones as well to catch up with those. Um, guys that I've talked to in the past see how they're doing and how things are going um, it's always interesting to catch up and um, find out a little bit more about them and you know what they've been doing and um, how they may have improved as well where their kind of career is headed and uh, in the future, it's always interesting to find out those things, and even listening to um, a lot of artists out there is um, great to to see. You know, maybe you might see them in some videos and their own videos and um, all sorts of different places. Yeah, so all sorts of different places um, that you do see them, which is awesome. And, you know, Instagram and seeing their, their work grow, uh, that's always great to, to be a part of that kind of community um, to see. To see that uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> I really do enjoy kind of um, seeing... them delve into um, new things sometimes you know I've uh, one of the artists that I did have on um, now foul card um, I've seen her you know she's done YouTube videos um, for a little bit uh, some different artworks as well I think she did um, like I can't remember what it was uh, like if something was something, uh, <laughs> I can't fully remember. Like if um, I've seen it before. Like if Twitter was a person, you know what would they look like? It was something like that. I think it was clothes or something, though. Um, which was really cool to see. You know, see some artists do that as well. What um, what Chrome would look like as a cat or a bird. You know, um what Twitter would look like if it was actually a live 3D bird. You know, seeing some of these um, artists delve into different things that you wouldn't expect them to delve into um, and, and what they do. 
Uh, one interesting one was uh, also Adam Duff. Uh, you know, a big fan of his channel, and I chatted with him a few years ago. He was an awesome guy to chat to, but he um, recently he recently um, he recently. He recently um, had a, a video on, um, he recently had a video on um, his channel where he had his daughter in for a kind of, for a um, live stream kind of a thing where he was uh, doing a, uh, what was the, it wasn't Clip Studio, I can't remember what it's called. It would come to me, it would come to me. Um, it was a drawing app he was drawing on. I can't remember the name, it would come to me at some point during this video. I reckon it would be after the video, but like, oh, that's what it was. Um, but it was a drawing app he was on with his daughter, he's drawing. And it was really cool to see him do that, you know, um, to draw with his daughter. Um, because when I was chatting with him, we were talking about, you know, our, um, our siblings, what siblings, <laughs> our daughters and, and things like that, um, and how, you know, they were aged and, what you know, that kind of thing. So it's interesting to see him actually drawing with, um, his daughter. So I just needed a drink there. Right, um, yeah, with his daughter, it's really cool to see him actually painting with his daughter. Um, which at the moment is quite fun when I, when I do, um, do that myself. I traditionally do it, I don't digitally do it at the moment. Although, you know, I, I do, um, open Photoshop for her and we pick colours and paint colours and, and things like that. Um, but definitely not to that level. Um that um i think it's magma studio i think it is the the program magma studio um so go check that out don't quote me on that look up bobby chao's channel um look up bobby chao he's one of the um co-founders for it it's created it uh for i think i'm not sure if it was for lightbox expo um but it definitely uh, was for that kind of thing. And these 90 minute art challenges, um, he he runs them on there as well. You know, because you can get multiple people drawing on a canvas at once. It, well, at once. It's like having Photoshop, um, but everyone can have it and you can draw with people. So it's a really cool app. I'm pretty sure it's called Magma Studio. Like I said, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, him and his daughter were on Magma Studio drawing together. Um, she was kind of drawing, he was editing a little bit, he would, they were drawing together. But it was really fun and cool. And they're just kind of reviewing it. Um, being artists, using the app and how it goes and everything like that. And what's wrong with it, what's right with it. You know, it's, it's a really cool little app to have. Anyone can have it, you can just go on it on Chrome, so um, as far as I know, it's like accessible on all tablets um, and things like that because it's on Chrome, so it can run it. As far as I know, I don't know its capability with other, you know, devices and, and things like that, but, you know, it runs fine on, on my tablet and I've had the experience of painting with other people on it and it's really awesome to do. And also, you know, on his on his channel, he's got those 90-minute challenges going, so people can draw with each other doing these 90-minute challenges each week together, um, which is cool to do, too. Um, <laughs> I'd like to, to do that, too. That'd be awesome. Um, but, yeah, you know, I have, I have fun doing this um, challenge. 
but yeah, those artists that I do talk to, um, are, are really great to, to see where they're at, you know, a couple years later or a couple months later, you know, what they're doing and um, where they're headed. You know, some of them, like, for instance, uh, Matthew Dobrich, I talked to him um, quite a, a little while back, I think it was about a year or so, maybe more. Um, I'm pretty sure it was, like, in 220, as far as I know. I, I'm pretty, I think. Um, it might be, it might be a little bit before then, possibly. Um, but as far as I know, you know, he, he's an awesome channel now. You know, he wasn't really doing much of, of YouTube, but now he's, like, slightly getting into YouTube, and you can see a few videos pop up of his. Uh, which is great to see, you know, that he's they're delving a little bit more into that field. Um, it's it's nice to see that kind of thing, they're trying new things. Um, you know, some artists I talk to, they might not um, have a YouTube, and, you know, it's a couple of years later they try YouTube a little bit further, or something like that, you know, it's always, it's always fun to see. Um, and some are doing, you know, some I've talked to, doing like a little bit more animation you know it's it's fun to see um even like so Adam does to see what kind of work he's creating what kind of videos um he is producing these days um he's done a, a some really awesome reviews on um art of books which I, I like seeing one he talked about was uh Ori and the Blind Forest um, and I think he did Will of the Wisps, as far as I know, um, which, you know, they're awesome games, he does a lot of, like, Dark Souls, um, and, and things like that that he talks about, which is cool to see, um, I really do enjoy seeing his videos. Lately, I've been watching a little bit more, um, of, you know, artist videos and, and things like that, I've done Draw Free, um, you know, for, I used to watch, like, tons, you know, I'd watch heaps of Proko, heaps of, um, Bob Cheo, heaps of Adam Duff, heaps of, uh, anyone I could get my hands on, Will, Will Terry, you know, um, Boro CG, heaps of, uh, amazing artists out there that I would just listen and watch all the time, uh, but because I haven't had a lot of time to watch all these YouTubers and all these um, artists out there and their, their tips and tricks and everything like that, um, I haven't watched as much. But um, because now I'm, I've got uh, a little tablet, so now I am downloading, <laughs> well, I'm watching videos offline. Um, but, you know, I am... Um, watching a little bit more because I can do that, I can watch the, them at work, so I can watch a few different other artists, I don't always have to watch um, Bobby we channel, because you know, I was keeping, I was just keeping up with them, now I'm like, you know, I watch, as soon as the Bobby Chiaos video is out, I'm watching it, and that means, you know, there's so much more other stuff I can watch as well, um, Rather than just, um, you know, Bob Chow, now I am, you know, so many other artists out there that I am watching. And as well as, you know, the artists that, you know, Bobby Chow is chatting with, because it's not just, uh, you know, the Schoolism channel, it's not just him. There's also, you know, recently, um, Ugo Josh, which I think I found him, I think I found him on my own on YouTube at some point. Um... Maybe or maybe I did find him through Bobby Chill channel, but um actually yeah, I think I found him on my own on, on YouTube. Which he's an awesome artist that uh talks about a lot of interesting topics and um also has a lot of interesting tips and, and things that he shares. But, you know, seeing him on Bobby Chill's channel as well, it's great to um, you know, have his kind of interview with him. That's great to see. I always like seeing, um, you know, artists you kind of know 
and other artists you know get together and then chat and things like that it's always good to see that and um find out more about you know the artists you do enjoy seeing and admire and, and things like that um yeah i'm headed towards the end of this painting um i'm as happy as i can be with it like you know you know those fails but um yeah You know, that's been me painting um, this 90 minute street art challenge. I'll call it street art. Um, and, you know, I feel like it's all just vaguely there. I don't feel like it's polished or um, I feel like it's working okay. There is things that are quite off to me, but yeah. I did what I did and I created it <laughs> within 90 minutes so you know I, I feel like I haven't hit the benchmark for this one uh, last time I did a thing where I put out of 10 how do I did um, you know one being absolute crap put it in the trash 10 being they're really really good I feel for this challenge another six you know i don't feel i completely failed it and um, but i don't feel i've there are some elements that are, i may am liking and, and they are working so i would give it kind of a six like some things are off some things are there um it needs work you know <laughs> if i was to call this a, a good painting um but you know, it, I would say roughly a sec. So, um, thanks for joining me. Um, feel free to do your own 90-minute challenges. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Thanks for joining me. Keep drawing, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.